Be smooth, baby. Under control. Under control. Under control. Under control. There you go. Good job, baby. Left hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. There you go. Right hand. Left hand. There you go. Go, 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 go. Get up out of there, man. Get up out of there. Go, go, go. There you go. There you go. to see you out here working, working hard, and you know we got to get a company. You know, we talked about it last night and that everything is in the rearview mirror, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're taking this day as the first day of the rest of the season to get better, guys. And that's what it's all about. We got to come out here every day and do what we did today, and that's to work our behind off. You had a hell of a day today working. The other part about it, we got to get better mentally, right? Yes, sir. And you know where we got to go, guys. You know, we, we rehearsed offense. You ran a bunch of plays down there. Defense, you ran a bunch of schemes down there. You need to know what you got to do, guy. And I know they gave everybody the playbook. Am I right? Yes, yes sir. sir. They gave it to you for a reason. Thank you. Look at it. Sometimes, if you don't open it, just look at it. It might jump on you. <laughs> Through emotions. I doubt it, though. But open it up and see what you got to do, guys. I'm telling you, when you know where you got to go, it makes it a better player. You can play fast that way. You can have a lot of fun. And that's what it's all about is having fun. From, from the day on, we're going to have fun doing this. Yes, I want you to enjoy doing this. Remember what we talked about last night? You know, there's a lot of things you got on your mind, guys. Every now and then, think about football. Mm -hmm. Think about this. When you get through studying, think about football. When you get through texting that girl, think about football. Get you some rest, guys. It's going to get better down the stretch now. It was just one of the more days loosen up. You know, we, we'll have on some pads. Saturday the morning, we put on some pads. But we're going to practice the way we're supposed to practice now. We're going to have fun. I want you to understand that. We're going to have fun for a reason. That's to be a better football team. Well, coach, it's spring football. It doesn't feel much like spring, but you're out here for the first day. Just uh, What's the sense you get just on the first day? Well, I tell you what, it's a good feeling uh, today to get out that uh, office for the first time since the Bayou Classic. Uh, I think this is what it's all about, you know, try to put everything behind us. And uh, I thought we had a good first day with a lot of enthusiasm and, and a lot of guys flying around. Talk about um, Dirk Wilson coming in, uh, Winston, excuse me, Dirk Wilson coming in. Um, I know it's just the first day and you can't really judge on schemes or anything, but what's the, just the reaction to him from the defensive players and how they're going to pick it up? Well, you know, it is Dirk's first day. The good part about this, Dirk is not new to this. And uh, uh, the feeling I'm getting from all the guys that, that are on defense at this particular time that it's a great feeling to give them a chance to, to learn a new defense, but also give them a little more freedom. Uh, talking to a couple of players, the first thing they said, it frees them up to just do their job and play faster. And, and that was one of the things Dirk and I talked about before he even came in, uh, what we look for from the players. You know, this game is a game that you got to think all the time. And it's kind of tough sometimes when you're thinking on the run. Uh, you want to get the best out the athlete, and I think that's what Dirty's going to do with these guys. Coach, I noticed tempo was a little faster. Was that intentional? Oh, ain't no doubt about it. You know, we want them to be able to play faster offensively and defensively. Uh, no one wants to be able to get out the huddle, get the playoff without, uh, you know, going down to the nitty-gritty on the clock. Last year, a couple of times we got caught almost with the time about to run out. We had to call timeout. Those kind of things that you got to correct during the spring. Speaking of the defense, how much uh, emphasis are you putting into improving the defense this offseason? Oh, man, you know, all over. I mean, we want to improve the whole team. Uh, I think uh, our special team is the number one priority, and I think we're fortunate enough to sign a kicker in Jonathan Wallace. Defense, we gave up some big plays at, at some crucial times. That's one of the things that we're trying to overcome. And, you know, one thing we talked about as a staff is staying on the field on third down and getting off the field on third down. So that means both sides of the football has to improve in, in both categories. DJ seems um, just kind of like a, a natural leader today. Not saying that he wasn't that before, but just see, it stuck out today. Do you feel like he's he's grown in, in that role? Well, there's no doubt about it. Being the quarterback, I think sometimes it has to grow on you. And I think from a confidence level, you know, I know going into his junior year, his confidence level is a little high. 
and, and that's what we need from the quarterback position. But the most important thing is whether or not the other guys believe in him, and I, and I think that's that's the key. You know, when you play in that position, it's a little different than any other position. The most important thing is try to be able to get the troops to rally around you. And um, he, he has that kind of uh, mentality this time, and I think the players feel the same way, and, and that's a good feeling. You were Ron, just talking a little bit about something that could help him out a lot, the running back. you got four guys that all uh, – three guys that have played well last year that didn't really stand out, and then a new guy from Fort Allen and Kelly. Just talk a little bit about the running back position for us. Well, I certainly think that the running game has to be improved. You know, we, we got Jeremy Runner, we, we got Skinner, we got Martin, and we also have, like you said, a young kid coming in who I think going to give us that big back present and hopefully, you know, Noble Johnson does what he had to do in the classroom and, you know, give us those those big backs. But but also, um, you know, be able to, to hang our hat on, on one back and know that he can get the job done and if we need to – give another back a chance and give him a rest. You know, I think running game should be a lot more improved than it was last year. You told these guys that you really wanted to put last year in the rearview mirror. What's, um, it, today, would be, I guess, would be the first day of kind of taking that first step forward. Do you feel like these guys, while learning lessons from last year, have kind of moved past that mentally? I think they understood it. You know, the first meeting we had, that was one of the first things, is the fact that, you know, everybody in the room, from, from the player to the coaches, last year we was one in ten not no one individual. And at the same time, nobody on this team was, was irreplaceable because we were 1-10. And uh, we were not going to let uh, that get us down, but the most important thing is to put it in your rearview mirror and go forward. And, and today was the first day of the rest of the season to put that behind us and going forward to make sure we are an improved football team. you got two midterm guys coming in, linebacker. Tell us a little bit about those guys. Well, I tell you what, just watching those two guys move, I, you know, I feel pretty good defensively right there. You know, you got two guys that got two years up under their belt playing at Navarre and Trinity and, and Aaron Breed and Osakowicz. You know, that's that's a good feeling to know that uh, those guys are out here going through spring training uh, and, and to see what they can do and just watching them in the drills. You can tell from, from the athletic ability that they certainly going to give us a shot in the arm. How big of an emphasis are you guys putting on forcing turnovers this uh, upcoming season, only 15 from a year ago? Well, that was one of the things we talked about, too. But, but a lot of that because we didn't get a lot of pressure on the quarterback, you know, and, and we didn't get to the ball a lot. And I think with, with Dirk coming in and the defense that we'll be playing and, and some of the things that we talked about, hopefully we'll get a chance to, to put a little more pressure on, on the quarterback and make sure our DBs are around the football.